I'm Mark. It's Randy here from Randy Cycle Service and I wanted to run over that front cover on your Goldwing with you and give you an idea of what to look for on that uh, water pump engine cover. I uh, pulled one and cleaned it here. It's in good shape. I uh, looked it over really well and it's uh, nice looking. I haven't uh, cleaned the gasket surfaces yet obviously. Uh, but I uh, looked it over and there's no cracks or any problems there. Now what you had shown us in the picture was actually what appeared to be a hairline crack across here. I would look at it very carefully and I'm not so convinced that it is a crack. I think it may just be a casting line or parting line in the mold. Uh, the reason I say that is because if that were cracked there, this is a water passage that actually comes from here and goes down into the water pump housing as a bypass. If that were the case, that would just put water right back into the crankcase oil and you'd have a mixing issue down here in the crankcase. Um, you can actually see on this one, if you can see it in the video, there's a slight line across here that also appears to be a crack, but again, it's just a parting line or a mold line uh, from when they cast the cover. Same up here as well. Now, the only two places I can see where you'd have an oil problem here um, with oil mixing into the coolant uh, would be from a couple of different passages here. Now, oil under pressure comes through here into the oil filter housing down this line, goes in here, mixes in the oil filter, goes through the filter, comes back out this passage here. Now this is a pretty thin casting right here in this side and I believe that if you had a crack somewhere down inside of here you would have an issue with oil pressure being put into the cooling system here right behind the water pump. There's also a possibility that if there were a crack or an erosion problem in the aluminum in here, this is a water passage, that you could transfer oil pressure from there over into the cooling system in that spot as well. Now the other thing that uh, is also a, a crucial thing on these front covers, there is a dowel pin that sits in this oil pressure uh, passage and another dowel pin that sits in this oil pressure passage that locates the two O-rings. Uh, down here I could see it putting uh, water, or actually just being a bypass problem, it wouldn't be an issue as far as um, uh, mixing anything. Up here, however, if this O-ring wasn't sealed sufficiently, it could push over past this O-ring and into the cooling system here as well. However, I think you'd probably have an external oil leak just the same to the outside of the engine. So basically those are the things to look for. Take a good close look at it again and be sure, and also be very certain that all three of these sealing washers are on the two on the three bolts that hold the water pump housing in and also that the o-rings around the uh, water pump housing uh, on the inside of here are also in place as well